here and a lot of San Diegans can't wait to visit the snowy mountains of Mount Laguna and Julian. But before hitting the road for that winter wonderland, Jeffrey Spring from AAA has some advice to help keep us safe. Jeffy, thank you so much for joining us here on the floor. Okay, so I grew up in Michigan, so I'm used to driving in the snow and on icy roads, but it's been 18 years, so I'm a little ru rusty. And for a lot of people that, you know, have only driven on California roads, what are some first things that we need to do before we try to venture up into the mountains? Well, those are good questions. Um, the first thing you want to do is make sure you, you've got the right equipment. Right. Those uh, and I'm thinking primarily of, of chains because here in California, uh, the Caltrans and the CHP are pretty quick to uh, tell people that they need chains to go up in certain uh, environments where there's snow and ice on the road. And so I would recommend if you don't already have chains to get some chains now and you want to practice using them on dry in dry conditions in temperatures that are a little bit warmer like you know by your home before you really need to take them out and use them in 30 to 40 degree temperatures. <clears throat> That's the best advice and actually our own Sean Stiles gave me that advice when I moved here 18 years ago because putting chains on your tires even in the best of conditions can be challenging so you really need to know how to do that. Uh, many locals are planning to head up to the mountains over the next few days. Um, in addition to the chains what else should they be expecting? Well it's important to also have you know the right gear if you want to call it that you know some people think they can go from you know 70 feet from the water up to you know 7,000 feet or 6,000 feet and wear the same kind of clothing <clears throat> you put on a uh, maybe a nice windbreaker and a, a baseball cap uh, that could couldn't be further from the truth you'll need to have insulated gloves you'll need to have a, a jacket of some sort that can protect you from the wind and from the cold um, you know, try to, thinking about insulation, things that most Southern Californians don't normally have to think about. So those are things you need to really add to your arsenal. And, and for whatever you whatever you do, don't wear flip flops mm -hmm. or or tennis shoes up there. You want to wear shoes that are insulated or at least uh, water resistant, because if those things get wet, you're going to just have a miserable time, and you don't want to have that when you're in the snow. And no matter how confident you are driving in, you know, wintry kind of weather. Uh, other people, there could be accidents ahead of you where you are stuck, stranded in your car maybe for <clears throat> hours at a time. So I know you gave a list of some items uh, in addition to the layers and the clothing, maybe blankets, hand warmers, and I thought what you th it suggested, um, you know, making sure you have plenty of portable battery chargers, that was really good, good advice. Well, that's true. You want to have <clears throat> other things that may you may need may need in case something does happen, like like you get stuck on the side of the road or get you swerved off the road. You want to have blankets. Um, you want to have a cell phone that's charged up, and also bring a charger in case you do lose charge. You, you want to make sure you can reach out to people. Um, you would uh, flashlights would be a good idea in case it gets dark before you get back, uh, and some snacks of some sort. Water would also be a good idea to keep you. Uh, hydrated because even though it's cold out there you can lose hydration so you want to make sure you have those kinds of things as well all right yeah because once you get up there it's all <clears> fun <throat> you got the winter wonderland to enjoy but uh, we need to get up there first so thank you so much jeff for uh, offering those tips richard i know you lived on the east coast yeah for a while, so, so it, it can be really <laughs> tricky driving in the snow and black ice that's that's terrifying mm -hmm. actually.